Hi, uh, today I want to show you a quick video of how to backtest price based charts such as the median Renko charts, Renko range bars or point original bars with 99% modeling quality. Well the first thing you have to do is download your tick data. I use the SQ tick data downloader application. This is a free app you can download from the internet. And what you have to do is first just select the symbol you want to backtest, select the uh, range, the date range of the data you wish to download and start the download process. Now this is a pretty lengthy process so it's gonna take a while to download. I'm gonna pause the video right now and uh, get back to you as soon as everything downloads for me. Alright so now that we acquired the TIG data we need to copy it from the output directory to our MetaTrader Experts Files folder. Uh, now once we have that done we can close the, uh, the downloader and we can open the MetaTrader terminal. Now currently we have the data as a CSV file which stands for comma separated value. It's basically a text file uh, and we need to convert that to FXT which is a proprietary MT4 format. Uh, this is a script that's available on the EA review page. Uh, you could download it directly from here. You'll also find the programs you need to do the back testing plus the downloading of tick data. Okay, so once we have that CSV file in our experts files folder, we need to run the CVS, uh, sorry, CSV to FXT script, but we're going to use a uh, modification of that script. And since we're going to be testing a median Renko strategy, we're going to apply it through the median Renko plugin filter. So uh, all you need to do here is just load up the chart you're going to backtest, make sure it's M1, and just drag the script onto the file, set the bar size, I'll set that to 20 pips. And it's going to start to process. Now this is going to take some time since we got uh, quite a lot of data downloaded but once that's done we need to close MetaTrader and start the tick data suite to do the back testing. Okay so I'm gonna pause the video right now and I'm gonna get back to you as soon as uh, we got the data converted. Okay so the conversion process uh, just completed and the script placed the created files into the correct folders of MetaTrader so we can go on and close MetaTrader for now and we need to open the tick data suite so first we need to choose the expert advisor we, we wish to test then select the symbol make sure it's the period is M1 and choose the model as every tick anything else uh, you select will simply not work here and we can start as you can see the median rank chart is now back testing using tick data And that almost completes our video. Just let's run it to the end to check out the modeling. Okay, I'll just pause for now and wait till the back test uh, completes. Okay, so the back test is nearly done. Check out the report. As you can see, modeling quality is 
which is what we wanted. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, you could check out my blog and see how to properly do the back test because we have one step that we haven't covered yet and that's uh, how you need to modify your EA in order for the um, price based charts to test correctly right just slow things down for you okay uh, I've already patched my EA to uh, backtest properly which simply means that new orders as we see here should be closed and open not on the virtual median rank open price so it simply skips that first tick but on the next one which is the real tick downloaded from the broker servers as we can see it's consistent it's not opening it's not opening up here in the middle of the bar which is a non existing tick it would just make your back test incorrect okay and that concludes our video thanks for watching